Positional talipes is a common foot condition in newborn babies that can affect one or both feet. It is thought to occur because of how bub was positioned within mum's uterus. Positional talipes usually occurs because the soft tissue, like muscles, tendons and ligaments, are tied around the baby's foot. This condition will usually resolve in a few months with stretches. The stretches are super simple and can be completed at home. We like to suggest adding it into your routine by picking a time that happens every day, for example when changing nappies. There are two types of positional talipes. If the foot is turning inwards and the front half of the foot points down, this is called positional talipes equinovarus. This usually occurs because there's tightness on the inside of bub's foot. This bub does not have positional talipes, but we can still demonstrate the stretch, and this is how the foot would look if he had positional talipes. To stretch this, hold bub's lower leg with one hand. Use your other hand to gently turn the heel and foot out in line with the lower leg. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds as long as bub is relaxed and settled. Repeat three times in a row and repeat this regularly throughout the day. It's important to allow bub to move freely, so ensure you keep swaddling and wrappings loose around bub's legs and feet. Touching and massaging your bub's lower leg can also help to stimulate and strengthen the muscles that need to work to reposition your bub's foot correctly. Using baby oil to massage around their foot and lower leg is an excellent method. It's not uncommon to take six months to resolve. However, when their feet rest in a neutral position, approximately where they're sitting now in this video, you can cease the stretches as it should to continue to resolve on its own. It is okay if their feet occasionally rest in the positional talipes position. However, if you do have further concerns that the foot is stiff or not improving, please contact your child's doctor, maternal child health nurse, or the physio department.